De Kalen Zecharias D.K. Metcalf, born December 14, 1997, is an American football wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks of the National Football League, NFL. He played college football at Ole Miss. He is the son of former NFL guard Terrence Metcalf. 1. Metcalf was born and raised in Oxford, Mississippi, where he played football both at Oxford High School and at the University of Mississippi, also known as Ole Miss. He played at Ole Miss for three seasons before declaring for the 2019 NFL Draft, where he was selected by the Seahawks in the second round. Metcalf was born on December 14, 1997, in Oxford, Mississippi. He attended Oxford High School in Oxford, Mississippi. During his high school football career, he had 224 receptions for 3,302 yards and 49 touchdowns. Regarded as a four-star prospect, Metcalf was ranked the number 14 wide receiver prospect by Rivals.com. 2. He committed to play college football at the University of Mississippi. 3-4. As a freshman at Ole Miss in 2016, Metcalf appeared in the first two games of the season before suffering a foot injury which ended his season. He was granted a redshirt following his injury. 5. He had two receptions for 14 yards with both of the receptions going for touchdowns. 6. In 2017, he had 39 receptions for 646 yards and 7 touchdowns. 7. During the 2018 season, Metcalf had 26 receptions for 569 yards before sustaining a season-ending neck injury against Arkansas. 8. After his 2018 season, Metcalf declared for the 2019 NFL Draft, foregoing his last two years of college football. He finished his career with 67 receptions for 1,228 yards and 14 touchdowns. 9. Metcalf was selected by the Seattle Seahawks in the second round with the 64th overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the 9th of 28 wide receivers. 11. On May 22, 2019, Metcalf signed a four-year deal with the Seahawks worth $4.6 million. 12. Metcalf played his first regular season game on September 8, 2019 against the Cincinnati Bengals, where he made four receptions for 89 receiving yards as the Seahawks won 21-20. 13. This set a franchise record for total receiving yards by a player making his NFL debut, eclipsing Hall of Famer Steve Largent's previous record of 86 yards. In Week 2 against the Pittsburgh Steelers, Metcalf caught three passes for 61 yards, including his first career touchdown, as the Seahawks won 28-26. 14. In Week 8 against the Atlanta Falcons, Metcalf recorded three catches for 13 yards and two touchdowns in the 27-20 win, Metcalf's first career game with multiple touchdowns. 15. The following week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Metcalf set new career highs in receptions and receiving yards, with six catches for 124 yards, including a 53-yard touchdown in the final minutes of the fourth quarter and a 29-yard catch on third down in overtime that set up a game-winning touchdown a few plays later. It was his first career 100-yard game. He also caught a two-point conversion that tied the game at 21 in the third quarter. 16. Metcalf finished the regular season with 900 receiving yards, third among NFL rookies, on 58 receptions with seven receiving touchdowns, second on the team in all three categories to Tyler Lockett. 17-18. In the wild card round against the Philadelphia Eagles, Metcalf recorded seven catches for 160 yards and a touchdown in the Seahawks' 17-9 victory. 19. This set the NFL record for most receiving yards by a rookie in a playoff game. 20. In Week 1 against the Atlanta Falcons, Metcalf caught four passes for 95 yards, including a 38-yard touchdown reception, during the 38-25 win. 21. In the following week's game against the New England Patriots, Metcalf caught four passes for 92 yards and a 54-yard touchdown during the 35-30 win. 22. In the first quarter of the Week 3 game against the Dallas Cowboys, after catching a 61-yard pass, Metcalf slowed to a jog and held the ball out with one hand, seemingly unaware that a defender was behind him. Trayvon Diggs knocked the ball free of Metcalf's grasp before he broke the plane of the end zone and the fumble traveled out of bounds for a touchback. 23-24, the gaffe was compared to Leon Lett's infamous fumble in Super Bowl 27. 
25, despite the blunder, the Seahawks won the game 38-31. Metcalf finished with 110 receiving yards, including the 29-yard game-winning touchdown. 26, in Week 4 against the Miami Dolphins, he had four receptions for 106 yards in the 31-23 victory. 27. In Week 5 against the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday Night Football, Metcalf recorded six catches for 93 yards and two touchdowns, including the game-winning touchdown reception with 15 seconds left in the game, during the 27-26 win. 28. In Week 7 against the Arizona Cardinals, Cardinals safety Butta Baker intercepted a Russell Wilson pass inside the Cardinals' five-yard line, and with a clear path ahead and no Seahawks with comparable speed near him, Baker appeared destined for a pick-six. However, despite Baker having a four-yard running head start halfway across the field, the 229 pounds Metcalf chased down the 195 pounds Baker and tackled him at the Seattle eight-yard line, preventing a touchdown, Arizona ended the drive with a field goal. Metcalf reached a top speed of 22.64 miles per hour, 36.43 kilometers per hour, making it the second fastest in pursuit in the NFL to that point in the season. 29. Ironically, the play was also compared to Leon Let's Super Bowl 27 gaff, yet this time in a far more favorable light. 30. In week 8 against the San Francisco 49ers, Metcalf caught 12 catches on 15 targets for 161 yards and two touchdowns including a 46-yard touchdown catch and run during the 37-27 win. 31. Metcalf's father, Terrence, was an offensive lineman in the NFL. 33. After ESPN announcer Joe Tessitore mistakenly called him Decaf Metcalf, Metcalf partnered with Fulkanika Coffee. Beginning in December 2019, 16-ounce bags of coffee labeled Decaf Metcalf began selling on the company's website. Part of the proceeds from the coffee sales will be donated to Prison Fellowship, an organization Metcalf has a long-standing relationship with. 34. Metcalf is a Christian. 35. 